Hey Capricorn, what's up Capricorn? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Or whatever you guys have Capricorn in your chart. Do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Capricorns out there. But if it does, show your girl some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to look at personal, fireintuition.com. Alrighty, we are going to start out with the Angel God Oracle message. So, yeah, an Angel God Oracle message. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Um, and then we'll hop into the love portion of your reading. All right, Capricorn. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit universe and my ancestors, please guide me through this reading for the sign of Capricorn. What do they need to know in here at this time? All right, let's see what you need to hear and know, Capricorn. Capricorn. All right, so we have learning experience, okay? So let's see what this is about. So it says, inner peace and a sense of security come from overcoming hardships. Without the challenges that life has presented to you, you wouldn't be the person you are today. This is a time for you to reflect on the incredible strength you have, no matter what has gone wrong for you. You have made your way through the darkness and into the light. When this card appears for you, your angel guide is, in, is inviting you to ask yourself, what have I learned from this? This card represent the teacher, represents the teacher you have within you. And through integrity and connection, you will be able to find a message within the mystery. If you are still facing challenges, you are being encouraged to keep going and trust that the worst will soon be over. The light at the end of the, t of the tunnel is you. Okay? So, Capricorn, it seems like you guys have been going through some hardships or a lot of challenges. You know, in life in general, could be, you know, in love with your finances, work. Um, and you guys are overcoming those. You guys have learned a lot of lessons. Are they saying that you guys should have learned something from this? Um, and you guys are going to come out on top, okay? Um, if you haven't learned yet or if you are still going through it, you need to ask yourself, you know, like, you know, like, why am I here and what is to come out of this, okay? And once you find that answer, then you'll know how to move forward in the situation that you're currently in, okay? So, let's hop into your love portion of your reading, Capricorn, alright? Let's see what the current energy is around you guys. What is the current energy around Capricorn? Let's see the current the current energy around Capricorn. Let's see. Okay, so y'all been acting bad or what? What's going on? Well, the bad girl card came out in reverse. So, maybe you guys haven't been, you know, acting up. You know, with somebody, okay, or some of you guys are just like on your goody two shoe, you know, in your goody two shoe energy. All right, we have voice recordings, mm, okay. So some of y'all could have recorded like some type of sexual. You know what I mean. We're not gonna go there. Super controlling. I know my worth. Let me see. Let me just read all the cards. Stuck up bitch, vaping, thinking about you. So you are this person could be vaping, thinking about you. Maybe one of you guys vape. Um, but we got stuck up, bitch. So somebody could think that you're stuck up. And it could be that, you know, just because you know your worth. And maybe because you're not being a bad girl or giving in to what they want you to do. Or because this person feels like they can't control you. They're looking at you as like stuck up. Okay. Somebody is listening to some type of voice recording from you. Whether, you know, it's good, bad, custom out, sexual energy, whatever it is. Um, or something sexual between you guys. But it could be you. There is a female holding, you know, the phone. Okay. Or maybe you're just, you know listening to voicemails or listening to something in regards to this person somebody is definitely thinking about the other person and like you know like i said listening to these voicemails looking at pictures looking at messages photos videos something like that somebody that um thought they could control you feels like they no longer have the upper hand of control making them feel some type of way and they feel like you guys are acting you know kind of stuck up right now Capricorn. all right so let's see or maybe you always been bad and bougie who knows let's see Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn placements. Alright, so let's see. The person on your mind, Capricorn. The person on Capricorn's mind. The person on Capricorn's mind. The person on Capricorn's mind. We have the Emperor. Could be an Aries. What about one? Hmm. 
So there's other people involved. There could be an Aquarius or an Aries that you guys are dealing with as well. There's a lot of people around this person. A lot of outside influences or a lot of people around this person. And I feel like this person really doesn't want to be with you, but they're distracted. They have too many people around them. I don't know what they do. They get a lot of attention. This person could be the star or be a star or like be in the limelight or get a lot of attention, be on social media, be some type of influencer. Maybe a lot of people know this person. But whoever this is, they get a lot of attention. And it's like they really do want to focus on this relationship and build and have something with you, Capricorn. But they're distracted. They need to block out, block out these outside influences. Let's see how the Five of Wands is here. Go to the Five of Wands. Yeah, Four of Cups in reverse. They're giving the wrong people attention. You know, so they're giving these people attention. They might even have like groupies or something like that, but I feel like it's not what they really want. They're in there holding on to these people or these situations or this person in this situation, but it's not what they really want. There's a lot of drama around them right now, too. It's a lot of drama around them in a situation that they're in. Or it's a lot of drama with the around the person that they're with. Why is it two of swords in reverse? See, yeah, two of wands in reverse. They're they're going through a breakup or some type of ending here. Yeah, see the world card. It's like they wish they can go back in time. Or this is somebody that's like, oh, if I knew then what I do now, or if I knew this was how it was gonna unfold or be, then I wouldn't be in this situation here. Yeah. See, so I told you somebody thinks you're really special. You mean a lot to them. They are trying to, you know, reconnect or they want to reconnect with you. Um, and they're starting to see, like, all these other women or all these other men, all these other people. Like, they don't mean nothing to them the way you mean something to them. Um, but they're just, maybe they just had a hard time seeing that. Um, I'm going to the star here. But it's, it's definitely, you know, they see that now. Mm, this person also is thinking about commitment, a title. It could be a tour. It's something like something that they didn't want in the past. It's like they want now. Something that they weren't open to before. They're open to it now. Or maybe they wanted like an open relationship with you before. And now they don't. Okay. And for some of you guys, this person committed to somebody else. You know, or got with somebody else after like you guys have been waiting. You have really wanted a relationship with them. And they got with somebody else. And I feel like it crushed you. Like it really, you know, hurt you, broke you down. Yeah, you felt stuck. But now I feel like this person feels stuck because they know they made the wrong decision. Yep, see, they got into a relationship with somebody. Somebody is using them, you know, uh, could be for financial reasons. Like I said, whoever you guys are dealing with, they make a lot of money. They get money. They're known or they're well known. They're known in your city or town. You know, or they're just financially stable. And whoever they were dealing with was taking advantage of them financially. I'm going to the star with the sign of Pentacles in reverse. Let me see. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah. So... Let me see what they see in this person before. See, this is the person I told you that they got with. So, damn, so Capricorn, this was playing out while y'all were dealing with each other. And then I wouldn't say they like ghosted you. It's like they kind of like ended things. It's not showing me like what happened, but I do see where they're like, okay, this isn't going to work out or this can be their energy towards them and this other person going to the two of wands in reverse see something is telling them that see they feel bad for how they did you but then they just feel like it's just like their higher self is just telling them like yeah this other relationship they're in is just no good yeah and they feel bad for how they left you and went towards this other person so there is some guilt you know they did lie like really bad Hmm. So let's see what they want you to know, Capricorn. What does this person want you to know? Yeah, let's see. What does this person want you to know? Please come back. I made a mistake. So they want you to know that they, they made a mistake. They want you to please come back, Capricorn. It took me a long time to realize that I do love you. Yeah. It took them a long time to realize that they do love you. Okay. So let's see Capricorn. We have people around me keep talking about you. So there are people around them that maybe y'all know the same group of people. Or just people around them that keep talking about you, bringing you up. Or they might be asking, okay, where's Capricorn at? Are y'all still dating? Are you still talking to so-and-so? 
It says, you are the only one I can't seem to resist. So, maybe it's easy for them to let go of these other people. But when it comes to you, it's hard. Even though they let go, they just feel like, you know, maybe they thought it was easier than it was. Maybe they're starting to feel the wrath of it, you know. So, let's see, y'all. Let's see what this will happen next, Capricorn. We got the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Mm. So I'll just tell you this from now on to the next few months or within the next few months, they're gonna try really hard to like come back into your life, reconcile with you, try to make things work. Um, we do have the ace of cups in reverse. You know, you guys are heartbroken about this. One of you guys, um, well not one of you guys, sorry. You Capricorn, like you love this person, but you just kind of feel unsure. I let's see how this unfolds, because I feel like you guys want to reconcile, but at the same time, you guys are in a different place or space. But they are going to try. They're going to definitely try to prove themselves. They're going to give you time and space. You know, they're going to tell you, like, I'll be waiting for you. Or I'm waiting for you. Could be a Virgo you guys are dealing with. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Damn, yeah. So, damn, Capricorn, they were playing too many games. It was their ego. You know, their ego, were, their ego was in the way, their pride, their ego. This person feared getting into some type of relationship with you. Um, they kept this relationship, like they, I wouldn't say like set a boundary, but it's like they refused to move forward in a way with you or move forward in some type of way with you, but was moving forward with other people in that kind of way. Hmm. And it is making them realize you, that they do love you. They also feel like you accept them for them. While, like, these other people may want, like, their money or things that they are offering, their sex, you know, just whatever they have to offer. Hmm. Let me see how the three of cups is here. You guys may see each other at some type of event or something that's going on in your, you know, city, town, or state. You guys may run into each other. Um, or you, like, may run into, like, a group of their friends or people that you guys both know. Or, like I said, you may be, or you could be out with friends and you guys are going to run into each other. Yeah. You're going to cross paths with them and run into each other. Are y'all going to like run into each other and see each other? Um, and they're going to rush over to you or say something to you. Or one of like somebody in the group or crowd is going to like see you and say something like, hey, or, you know, something like that. And if you don't see them, it's like you're going to see people that they know. They're going to go back and tell them, tell them. They're hoping that they see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're going to get excited when they see you. And when they see you, it's going to go on from there. Like, they're going to, like, try to, like, reach out or keep reaching out, something like that. Seeing what you're up to, how life's been since y'all haven't been talking. And they want to reconnect and see you. They might even be having an event that they're going to invite you to or something like that. They see your glow up. You see why is this here? Yeah. And this person feels bad because they they just feel like they didn't know how to love you. And they didn't want to give you like unrequited love. They didn't they didn't want you to feel like this. You know, they don't want you to feel like they didn't love them or they didn't want you to feel as if they, they didn't care or love you, but it just could have been like, you know, that's all they knew how to do or you know, now they see, like, when you have somebody that loves you or when you love somebody, you know, what you should do or how you should move forward. And now they're seeing that, yeah, they weren't ready. They weren't prepared. They were just, they just weren't ready for you. Even though this person is coming up as somebody that has it together, they get attention and stuff like that. I just feel like the emperor's in reverse because they weren't prepared to be in a relationship with you or they weren't, they weren't prepared, like, they weren't the man that you needed them to be or the woman you needed them to be when y'all were together. And they needed to get out of their head to see that. Like, you know, because they were, it was their ego was in the way, right? So now it's like they want to build with you, also build their finances and stuff like that. But this may be a lesson for them. Their karma may be losing you. Some of you guys, I just see you kind of like detaching and like, you know, like I'll be your friend, I'll be in your life, but I don't know if I can, I don't know if I want to be with you. And then for others of you, I see you guys becoming a power couple and building together. You guys both needed to go through this lesson, okay? Maybe you guys were settling. You know, and accepting bare minimum. Bare minimum. Let's see. Let's pull a um a love blockage really quick. Capricorn. 
me see. Put a little bit of blockage for Capricorn. Where was Capricorn blocked out in love? You say you want a lover, but you are not all in. Take time to figure out what you want. So, oblivion. So, I wouldn't say that you didn't know what you want. I feel like you were willing to accept this person, like I said, as they were. And it was something about them or something that they were doing that you just didn't like, but you gave in to it. So, that's kind of like, in a way, as settling, right? Um, you gave in to something that you really didn't want, pretty much. Let's see where your person was blocked at in love. But now you fell in love with this person, and it's like, now it's everything you probably do want. But maybe when you first met them, you weren't as attracted to them or it was something about them you didn't like. We have criticizing your partners, driving them away, focus on their qualities and needs. So I like your person, instead of them focusing on your qualities, your needs, and the things that you wanted and needed, they criticized you, you know, and kind of made, kind of made it seem as if, like, you pushed them away. And in reality, you didn't push them away. They just couldn't, they just weren't delivering. They weren't giving you what you wanted and needed in a relationship. Okay, some of you guys could have been blocked with the fear of cheating. Not everyone cheats. You need to open your heart and trust your partner. Or maybe your partner did cheat or do something and you were just like, oh, I can't trust them no more. And it kind of like, you know, drew a wedge between you guys. That can be it too. But there was definitely a blockage here and a lesson that both you guys are learning in this relationship, in this connection. Okay, so let's pull up some additional love messages and then we'll pull your spirit messages. All right, so let's see. So gratitude is my new attitude. So now this person is, you know, or this is you. You know, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay focused. I'm gonna stay positive. I see a lot of money coming in for you too, Capricorn. You got the nine and three of Pentacles. So you know, y'all are deep in y'all bags like a grandma with a peppermint egg. So y'all are deep in y'all bag. Y'all are really getting y'all money. Butterflies are around here. So you guys are flourishing, growing, doing good things. Big things are big things are coming in for you. Your money is looking good. We have different love languages. I do believe that just looking at the reading, they didn't know how to love. You knew how to love. Or maybe y'all both didn't know how to love and y'all were trying to figure out what the other person needed. Okay? So y'all went through hell and back. Let's see. Babe, I'm buying candles and sage. You really got me manifesting. So some of you guys are manifesting, doing your spiritual work. Or they could be doing their spiritual work. Or both y'all. Mm, whoever didn't believe in spirituality so much is the one doing it. Okay, I knew your ass was lying, so they lied about something. Mm, well, they're going to tell you the truth. The sun is here, so it's some, like shining a light on everything that was going on. So if they were, they're going to they're gonna eventually sit down and tell you everything. I manifested you. We have, I've been shopping for rings. Okay, I feel insecure. So this person probably was just insecure. We all were together and we're going through something. Not giving them no excuses, no. But, you know, at the end of the day, Capricorn, you know if this is somebody that you guys can get back with or not, okay? Okay, because, I mean, it seemed like it was just a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. But y'all have some going and some healing to do. And maybe y'all need each other in y'all lives to figure it out. That's what soulmates are here for. All right? That's why they're here. But let's see, y'all. Messages for Capricorn. All right, so we have bright future. Now, these messages may or may not resonate with the reading because they're just spirit messages, okay? We have fertility. This is the one. And we have undying love. So we have stop worrying. Worrying, everything is going to be fine. So with the bright future. So you guys need to stop worrying so much, Capricorn. Everything is going to work out. And it looks like everything is going to be fine. All right, so let's see. We have bright future. Why is the bright future card here? Bright future. Why is bright future here? Hot and cold. So somebody that was hot and cold with you guys, I was unsure about you, wants to have some type of bright future with you. 
It's going to require some patience, though. Maybe you guys have already been patient. For others of you, you got some type of secret admirer or somebody that wants to come in or that's been trying to come in and this person has been kind of hot and cold and playing games and somebody else is like, look, I can give you everything you want to need. So, y'all got options. Let's see, we got fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, assess new ideas, and give birth to new conditions, okay? Or possibly get pregnant or give birth to a child. Maybe some of you guys are pregnant. So, congratulations. Let's see with the fertility card. Spiritual protection. So, whatever you guys are about to give birth to, protect it. Okay? Um, put some razzle dazzle on it or protect it before you guys launch it. Tell anybody about your ideas or anything. Okay? Make sure you guys do that. Because if not, somebody might steal your ideas. Or, you know, like something may happen. Something may get delayed or set back. Somebody might... Try to throw some negative energy on it, the evil eye, or do something to sabotage whatever it is you got going on. All right? We have undying love. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. So, you guys have, you know, loved each other um, for many lifetimes, okay? You guys have a lot of love for each other. And even if you guys don't work out in this lifetime, maybe next lifetime, y'all have loved each other in each lifetime. All right? Let's see. Undying love, we have slow and steady. So, it seems like... Whatever you guys are trying to accomplish, it keeps, it like, it. I'm not going to say it keeps being pushed off, but it's like maybe in your past lifetime, you guys wanted to get married and have children. And in this lifetime, you wanted to do that, but something is blocking it or stopping it. Or maybe you guys already have children and your tubes are tired or you don't want to get married or, you know, you guys don't get to that level. They say so on study wins a race. So maybe next lifetime, you know, it says keep the faith. You just never know. So it's something that your souls are wanting or yearning for. Or like I said, you guys have been together and many lifetimes and you guys are trying to come together and and uh like have something in a lifetime where you guys are together but it's like you guys are just still needing to do a lot of work or there's still a lot of work that needs to be done okay um but you guys will get there one day one lifetime y'all will get it y'all will do it okay it may be in this lifetime keep the faith all right let's see mm, page of wands is okay i'm looking for a better card the moon it's, it may or may not happen, you know. Don't It's kind of like, don't get too excited, you know. But y'all do love each other. Y'all have loved each other, you know, like I said, in many lifetimes. And if it doesn't happen in this lifetime, it will happen. Okay? So what did Erica Badu say? I'll see you next lifetime, baby. So, I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty. So that's what I got for you, Capricorn. All right, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys look to book, fireintuition.com. All righty, bye loves.